It is hard for us to imagine the terror of the pre-antibiotic world. Before 1928, humanity was playing a game of biological roulette, a scratch from a thorn, a shaving nick, or just a blister. Any of these could end you in a week. The leading cause of death was, unfortunately, tiny, microscopic bacteria. Enter Alexander Fleming, brilliant, but a slob. In 1928, he rushed off on vacation, committing a cardinal sin. He left a stack of deadly Staphylococcus cultures completely exposed on his cluttered bench. A mold spore, Penicillium notatum, brought in by the breeze, settled on the jelly. When Fleming returned on September 3rd, he saw an anomaly. The bacteria surrounded the mold, but couldn't touch it. The mold was creating a chemical force field. But the story almost ended there. Fleming published his findings, and the world ignored it. He couldn't stabilize the chemical, so he gave up. For 10 years, the cure for infection sat in a journal, forgotten. World War II changed everything. Researchers rushed to mass produce the mold juice, arriving just in time for the D-Day invasion. Today, it is estimated that penicillin has saved over 200 million lives. You could be alive right now because a century ago, one man didn't clean up his mess.